Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be changing a keg on a Philips Perfect Draft Machine. So then, we've got folks coming round for a bit of a party and we've run out of lager in the machine. However, we've got a new keg that's about to go on, so I'm just going to show you quickly how we do that. Right, first of all, let's shift this one out of the way. We can put it down on the floor and we need to remove the old keg from the machine. So all we do is click the button on the side and that opens round there. This one should open round here. We've got the blue levers on the top. Clip those up and it's released. That is the keg now free from the machine. I'll just close that up again just to keep the chill inside. Right, this is our keg. You can see the taps on there. We've got, this is the actual beer line that fits in. And this is the bit that does the business. So to release it, it's simple as clipping this in, that one and that one. There we go, and off it pops. How easy is that? That one out of the way. Now, you don't have to clean the lines on these. I was always worried about cleaning lines. I used to run pubs, and cleaning lines is one of the biggest things we did. With this, it comes with a fresh line every single time. To remove the old line, we clip, clip down this blue button, it lifts up. And we pull this, and hey presto, out it comes. Now, these normally go in the bin. However, if you just want to rinse one out and put it to one side, that would be great, because sometimes you have had them with a barrel and they get lost in transport. So it's always handy to keep one of these spare. Right, I'll just go over the sink and wash this one out, and we'll get the new keg on the table. Hey, as if by magic, here it is again, just appeared. Right, to get your beer line off the top, you pull down on the plastic tab, pull that across, and out it comes. That's just rubbish. Put that to one side, and this pops off. Now, when I first got these, I'm scratching around. I've got scissors, knives, whatever. There is actually a small tab on there which says open here, right? <laughs> you pull that, and it opens up, and out comes your beer line, all ready to go into the beer tap. He says, struggling to get it out of the packet. Right, so that's it, it comes out there, and that's that. Now, while we were off camera, I did rinse this through with a little bit of water. Because this pipe comes right the way down into here, there's no real need to clean them out. However, every so often, I just run some water through, just to make sure you don't want any dirt and grime building up in there. You keep it nice and clean. It's only gonna benefit you in the long run. So with a pipe, I need to fit this in. This pipe goes down into there. I'll turn that round so you can see it like that. The pipe goes down into there and we push it in all the way down. There's a little clip at the front where these two pips here clip in. So if we just push that as far in as it's got to go and then we clip this down and it's as easy as that. That's the tap in. That's the tap in. That's all we have to do. Now, to put the tap on the top. We just turn the barrel round so we've got this roughly at the front. Now you'd think that the label would be on there, wouldn't you? But it's not, it's on the side. So this is uh, how it fits on. There's some instructions on here. There's also instructions inside the door. So you're never gonna go wrong, but sometimes it's just easier to watch somebody do it. So now we make sure this bit goes into the center like so. And then once it's in, we'll press this down and we should hear a couple of clicks, I think, or I hope. That's it, that's in, and that's solid, right? So there you go, your tap's on. All you've got to do now is open up your machine, put the barrel in, and this little bit here at the back clips into the back of the machine. Let me just turn it around and show you. This clips into the back of the machine and the gas goes in there, pressurises the keg, and that's what delivers your lager. Okay. So like I said, the beer machine's now open. We lift these handles up out of the way. These lock in place either side of the main tap. We've got instructions on here. It tells you to rinse it through, etc., etc. So it's all done. We now put the keg onto the chiller plate. That's this. I'll just take that off a sec. That's this bit here. This is the chiller plate. That's what makes it ice cold. The Philips Perfect Draft gets your 
lager down to around 3 degrees C. You don't have to wait for it to get that cold. You can drink it when it's a little bit warmer. Just depends on your preference, how you like it. Okay, so that's all sat in there. We push this down. That locks into place. That's solid. It won't move. And now we push this too. And that's it. And now look at our display on the front. Oh, we just let, wait for it to pressurise. You can't have a sneaky pint, can you? Wait for it to pressurise. It's got five degrees C in there. It's telling us our keg is full and we've got 30 days left on there. So there's 30 days left to drink it. Now, if you can make six litres last 30 days, then you're doing better than me. Right, I suppose we're gonna give, give it a couple of minutes to cool down. We've gone back up to six. We'll get it back down to about five. And we'll pour some off and we'll have a little taste. Hey, so there we go then, right? We've got a couple of lagers there. That's your traditional pint glass. Ed's a little bit big on there. It's a little bit lively. You put these kegs in the fridge and chill them down first, um, preferably for a couple of days if you can. This one's a more of a continental style, 330 mil glass. The machine's more suited to that. It does pour a large head, but you've got a drip tray on there. You can take that off and uh, everything's contained in that so you don't get any mess. Anyway, I'm gonna have a swift one before everyone arrives, maybe sneaking a cob and a bag of crisps. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.